Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. Welcome to today's video. What is raw honey good for? Actually, honey is a lot better than eating sugar every day, and it has many health benefits that people do not or are not aware of. It can actually be something preventive for diabetes, which you might not know yet. It can actually help improve maybe the health of your kidneys, your liver, the situation you might be facing right now with cholesterol, triglycerides, and many other ingredients in your bloodstream. But what does actually, what does honey actually do? What type of honey should you be looking for. Believe it or not, it's not the honey you can find in a supermarket because that honey is always is going to come processed, pasteurized, and that will not have the ingredients, the vitamins, the antioxidants, or the minerals and the substances that will actually help your system improve in health. So let's start. What is honey or which type of honey should you be looking for if you if you want to take some honey every day? Well, you want to be looking for raw honey, the real raw honey that comes from bees that has not been pasteurized. And the fact of the matter is if you go and buy any honey from the supermarket, most, most of the times it will be pasteurized honey, meaning it passes through a high temperature state and then a real st a steep drop in temperature to make sure that all the bacteria that may be contained in honey is killed off. Now, the fact of the matter is that you're not only killing off bacteria, you're also deteriorating proteins, vitamins, substances, antioxidants that could have potentially helped you in many ways will no longer be available in that type of Honey. So you do not want to buy supermarket honey. You actually would like to want, want to buy that raw honey, that farmer's market honey that comes directly from that beehive. That is the honey that will give you the health benefits that I'm about to reveal to you. Now, a lot of people think that honey well, is sugar. Well, and, and most of the times it's 80% sugar. It's not It's not like it's free of sugar. But the thing is that the University of Toronto, for example, for example in, a new, uh, in a new report, in a new study, showed that uh, despite being 80% sugar, it was, it was seen to help reduce all types of substances in the body, like, for example, blood sugar, uh, LDL cholesterol, bad cholesterol, improve HDL cholesterol, and even reduce triglyceride levels in your body, something that sugar will not do, by the way, in any form, shape, or situation that you might be consuming it. So if you're thinking about consuming honey, you want to look the raw honey, and make sure that you take maybe one tablespoon a day. Do not abuse it because it's obviously also sugar, but it comes with all those ingredients that I've just mentioned. So if you want to take honey, there you have it. Number two, what does honey do, do to your body? Another thing that can help you improve is your skin. Honey is actually one of a very, uh, very well-known therapeutic agent for disorders of the skin. Not many people know this. It can actually improve any wound that you might be having or accelerate the wound healing process. If you don't believe me, go ahead and look at the many studies that exist today about having it been used as a clinically proven topical treatment for wound, wound, inf wound infections. There are many infections and I've seen it. I've seen it in hospitals in South America, by the way, and in other hospitals around the world, how they use honey to put on wounds and these wounds faster. Remember, it has to be raw honey, not any honey, all right? And there are obviously other studies of many other types of honey, like Manuka honey and, uh, you know, all types of bees that produce different types of honey. It has to be raw honey. If you need something natural that can help you improve, for example, the cleanse of maybe acne you have in the skin, look for acne eclair, or you can use also, in some occasions, honey. It will help you a ton. If you need something more of a hydrating complex, something like Hydra Triplex has more than three different types of natural substances that will help aid that skin humectifying uh, barrier on your skin. Number three, a lot of people think that eating honey or taking honey every day will actually increase their risk of having diabetes. Now, believe it or not, honey does not act as the same toxic uh, way that pure sugar does. Pure, you know, purified sugar has a way different chemical nutrient composition than honey and 
By the way, it has the potential, in this case, honey, raw honey, has a potential of reducing your risk of the onset of autoimmune conditions like diabetes, nephropathy, pancreatitis, and even retinopathy. Then that can be accelerated with sugar. So if you're th thinking of taking honey, it can also help. Go ahead, go ahead and take a look at this study if you can later on. But it actually improves lipid profiles by reducing plasma levels, total cholesterol, LDL, and actually in uh, triglycerides also, but also has the potential against the development of diabetic nephropathy, which is, which is the damage of your kidneys, pancreatitis, which is the inflammation of your pancreas, and retinopathy, things that will also accelerate if you're eating sugar with honey. It's the other way around. Very, very interesting. Now, if you want to take honey, there you have it. It can also improve many aspects of your health. You need something natural that can help your body aid in that improvement of that kidney function. Look, kidney function. Look for kidney matrix, Uri essence down here, and D berry from Phylan at PhylanVitamins.com. Number four, honey has something that not many people know. I mean, they think that it might be just sugar, but it has also the potential of reducing the fat within your liver. Just so you know, one of the first causes of a fatty liver disease is the consumption of sugar, white sugar, brown sugar, any type of sugar, even carbs. But there are studies now proving that honey can actually, by the way, if you eat it uh, less than five to six times a week, not once a day, actually improving your risk or reducing your risk of having non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So the association between consumption of and frequency of honey and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease results from a cross-sectional analysis, very interesting study, that says that um, consuming honey two to six times per week, so less than once a day, was inversely associated with fatty liver disease, whereas consuming more than once a day had no association, meaning it doesn't even actually increase your risk of having fatty liver disease. And more results are needed in this study. Obviously, we need more studies but there you have it. It can, it can actually work in, in instead of making your liver become have you know consume or have uh, have more fat within it. Actually, keep it healthy. All right. Number five, it can also boost your brain health. It's a promising brain booster, and yes, it is. It's actually seen. It has actually been seen for it to be neuroprotective and anti-stress in many many ways and pathways. So, honey, if you're gonna eat it, does the opposite than what sugar might do. If you're eating sugar, then you're having the opposite effect. You're being hyperactive, you're being more stressed out, maybe sometimes because you have more energy to burn and you're having that, that peak of energy and sugar and the spike in blood sugar that will not help you at all. So there you have it. Go ahead and look at these studies later on if you can. Take a look at them, very interesting, very impressive. And this is something that honey, or you might have not known that honey can do for your body. Keep you healthy with cholesterol, triglycerides, HDL, LDL. Keep you healthy with blood sugar levels if you're not eating too much of it, right? Keep you with a good heart health, keep you with a good pancreas health, kidney health, liver health, and many other things that sugar will do the exact opposite. If you need something natural that you might be needing, for example, for live for your liver to have you have your body keep that liver functioning and healthy, look for thistle essence for your kidney urea essence and many other supplements you might be needing at Phylan Vitamins. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to give that like and share with someone that might be needing or might be wanting to see what honey can be used for. I'll see you in the next video.